Hi guys, my name is Deepak and in this quick video, I'll talk about Azure Managed Disk and the difference between managed and unmanaged disk. Now, before we talk about managed disk, let's understand what was the traditional way of creating the storage in Azure. So if you are creating a virtual machine, you always required to create a storage account and that storage account used to look like a big URI, which was like HTTPS, your storage account name, dot blob, dot co, dot windows, dot net, and then your storage container and your disk name or any storage which are keeping underneath. Now, it means you require to create a storage account. Now, a storage account had got its own limitation. The limitation was that it only support up to 20,000 IOPS per storage account. And you can create up to 250 storage account. But since there is a limit with 20,000 IOPS, it means in a single storage account, you can't keep more than 40 virtual machine because every virtual machine, it supports 500 IOPS and that's the maximum IOPS. And if you keep more than 40 VM, it means there would be a IO crunch for the virtual machine. So that was the challenge. And you always required to remember that you cannot have more than 40 running VMs in a storage account. Now, if we talk about managed disk, managed disk solves this problem. So how does it solve it? It's a very simple approach. You create a virtual machine and you don't need to select a storage account. Microsoft does it for you under the hood. Now you can also have granular access with role-based access control. Managed Disk also provides you a better performance because you don't need to worry about the storage account limits. It also supports up to 20,000 disks, which can be 10,000 standard and 10,000 premium storage disk. Now let's understand what is the biggest difference. Now, why it is important to use Managed Disk versus Unmanaged. Now, in the case of Unmanaged, and especially if we are talking about the availability set, so an availability set keeps your virtual machines in different, different racks. So you've got racks where all the servers are running and availability set ensures that your VM sits in separate racks, which means if one rack happens to be down, you still have your service running in terms of a VM. But there is a challenge with this storage because you want a storage resiliency. And in the unmanaged case, it could happen your storage could be kept in a single storage unit which could be called as cluster as well now that was a challenge now with the managed disk what microsoft does it provides you with the storage resiliency now how does it work your virtual machine rack is separate and now your storage unit is also separate it means a virtual machine would be using a storage from storage unit one another virtual machine would be using its storage from storage unit two. So it means your isolated storage is used. And if one rack happens to be down, one storage cluster happens to happens to be down, it's not going to impact your service because now the services would continue to run from another storage rack as well as the uh, VM rack. So that's the case. Now let's quickly look at the demo and understand how does it look like now if we are creating the virtual machine for the first time now we will see this is the option so you select the storage and this is the default choice which is the manage this now if you don't want it you can say no and you can select the storage account or you can even create a storage account now once you have created this virtual machine and if you are using let's say unmanaged disk now what you will do if you need to add more storage let's say you want to add d drive e drive f drive you need to select a storage container and that's where your vhd would sit on now in the case of managed disk you simply go and select the disk you want to create and you don't need to worry about the storage account so that's the difference in the ui uh, ui when you create the managed disk or the unmanaged disk now let's look into the conclusion and let's just kind of you know understand uh, the benefits so it's always recommended to use managed disk for all the production based workload 
So if you are running a virtual machines, always use Manage Desk. And if you've got availability set, it makes perfect sense to use Manage Desk. Now, there are some other considerations as well that Manage Desk is not supported for all Azure services, like Azure Site Recovery. Uh, in the case of Azure to Azure ASR, that still doesn't support the Manage Desk. It will be supporting it in the future. There are some partner solutions. They also don't support the uh, Manage Desk. So you also need to you know, consider those scenarios as well if you are planning to use Manage Desk. Now, if you think it makes sense, you don't have any considerations and you are planning to use Manage Desk, but you have got few VMs running as unmanaged disk, yes, you can convert from unmanaged to managed by using this PowerShell command. Now, if you guys have any question or if you want to see this step by step guide of configuring this, you can also follow my blog, which is techtalk.cloud, understanding Azure Managed Desk. I hope this video is helpful to you. Um, thank you for listening to this. Bye.